June 25th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from the New Testament. When any of you has a legal dispute with another, does he dare go to court before the unrighteous rather than before the saints? Or do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you not competent to settle trivial suits? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Why not ordinary matters? So if you have ordinary lawsuits, do you appoint as judges those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Is there no one among you wise enough to settle disputes between fellow Christians? Instead, does a Christian sue a Christian and do this before unbelievers? The fact that you have lawsuits among yourselves demonstrates that you have already been defeated. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be cheated? But you yourselves wrong and cheat, and you do this to your brothers and sisters. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. The sexually immoral, idolaters, adulterers, passive homosexual partners, practicing homosexuals, thieves, the greedy, Drunkards, the verbally abusive, and swindlers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you once lived this way, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful for me, but not everything is beneficial. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be controlled by anything. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach is for food. But God will do away with both. The body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Now God indeed raised the Lord, and he will raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Should I take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Or do you not know that anyone who is united with a prostitute is one body with her? For it is said, the two will become one flesh. But the one united with the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin a person commits is outside of the body. But the immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God with your body. God, I see this happen so often with believers, with other Christians, where they go against another Christian, and unfortunately they do it very visibly in front of unbelievers. And I I see this all the time on Facebook and other social sites. Um, I've seen it in person. Um, I've even seen it within the church in front of people who have come to church uh, who aren't believers, yet they walk into a church and they're seeing Christians fight with each other. And these can be simple fights in the sense that somebody's mad at somebody for something, or they can be very dramatic fights, uh, long-standing family type of situations, or they can also be fights over theology. What what we need to remember is we are all on the same side. <laughs> all Christians are headed in the same direction, hopefully, all dire- if they're truly Christians. Uh, all of them should be following your word. And there's always going to be, because we're humans, different interpretations, unfortunately, of your word. Uh, but arguing over theology, fighting with each other over uh, trivial matters or matters that seem very serious in front of unbelievers, People are watching us all the time. People are watching our actions. People are watching how we treat other people. Unbelievers are watching our decisions that we're making. uh, And they're forming a lot of judgments about you, God, and a lot of judgments about Christians and the Bible. And if we act that way in front of them, I I can't even imagine how detrimental that is to what it looks like to have a relationship with you for them. God, help us be mindful of this. Help us be mindful that at all times, in all places, we are called to a higher standard by you. 
not just in how we treat our friends, but how we treat people who we may not like, people who we don't know, people who aren't in the same circles as us. We aren't called to judiciously love people or filter out those who we want to love. You tell us to love everyone as you have loved us. And yet we fall so short of that every single day. God, help us be strong in that. We have no idea how much you truly love us. And we have a hard time getting past justice here in this world to love everyone. Um, anytime anybody does something that we find offensive, even if it was unintentional, um, we react accordingly instead of with grace, with mercy, with love, which is how you've treated us. We have messed up in our relationship with you daily, if not hourly. And even though there are consequences throughout our sinful nature, you still love us. You've made that incredibly clear throughout the Bible that you still love us. So God, let us remember the commandment you gave us in the New, Tem New Testament, which is to love our neighbor as ourselves, to love others as you've loved us. And help us realize how important this is to love our fellow Christians as well. Not only because it's the right thing to do, but also because you have loved us first. In your son's name I pray. Amen.